Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. There's an XRP analyst out there stating that uh, the price of XRP, uh, he's fully expecting it to go down to 15 cents, and perhaps even as low as 3 cents. Now, I'm going to state right here at the beginning, before I even get into this piece, this is an XRP community member who is pro-XRP. Uh, he's purely talking from a trading perspective, so sometimes when you see these, these low... Uh, you know, these, these low price predictions, uh, you, you know, maybe you can say, okay, well, that guy, he's historically been against XRP. He's a troll. Uh, not in this this particular case. So he's still generally, like, he, I mean, he's, he's pro XRP. He's just talking in terms of the trading patterns. This is what he sees. So I'm going to share with you that perspective. Uh, not just his perspective, though. I have uh, opinions on uh, from a technical analysis perspective from many traders, many chart analysts in this video, and I'm going to be running through that a lot about XRP in this video, and I got some opinions regarding the trend of Bitcoin because ultimately, as we know, XRP price is, whether we like it or not, and we don't, uh, tethered to the price action of Bitcoin. So... Uh, doomsday's ahead? Eh, I don't think so. But let's talk about some price action. Now, before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you just so happen to be a fan of Ripple and XRP and would prefer that XRP not hit 15 cents, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. This is an XRP-centric channel, and uh, it'll feel just like home for you right here. So let's dive in. Crypto asset class is at $198 billion dollars. Bitcoin's at $7,311 as I record this, and XRP is at 23.2 cents. And over the last 24 hours, a little volatility, but more or less trading sideways. So not a ton to report on that front here. Um, now, since I'm going to be talking a bit, a bit about price here, uh, actually, that's all this video is about. <laughs> I want to be very clear at the outset, because I know a lot of you know this, but I have to say it. I'm sorry. I know we probably get tired of hearing it, but uh, there's always new subscribers coming on board, so... I'm not a financial advisor. None of what I'm stating here is intended to be perceived as uh, buying or selling or holding suggestions for any asset whatsoever, for, for anything, period. Um, I'm just your everyday Joe Show Schmo XRP community member. I'm no different than you. I love tracking this this, this price activity and news in the, uh, the Ripple and XRP world. Uh, that's why I do it. I, I make videos because it's a very fun hobby. I love tracking it, just like you love love, love tracking the stuff. That's why you're watching this. Um, this. I'm interested in the very same content. The only difference is I'm putting videos together. So just understand that I am not offering predictions, period. I just like to do a lot of research and share what I find with the XRP community. Okay, so now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in a little further. Here's an article from AMB Crypto. XRP's breach of descending channel could drive price up. And, you know, I think I really just want to jump down to the end of this because I don't want to uh, read the whole thing. And this comes from an analyst named, uh, oh, I'm going to butcher this one, uh, Chayanika Deka. That's the best I can do with that. That's, a, that's seriously as good as that's going to get. I, I wanted to read this end part, though. All right, uh, volume profile exhibited that profile exhibited that most of the trading volume occurred uh, for XRP near the 29 to 30 cent zone. Towards the end of the chart, there has been a decline in the volume of trades, which occasioned with the current price level. Uh, XRP has seen significant resistance from the bears. If the upside breakout materializes after the completion of the channel, the coin's price could potentially move nearer to the high volume nodes in the aforementioned range. However, in the case of a trend reversal and XRP fails to break above the current level, the coin could get another retest uh, below the support level of 22 cents. So there you go. One one opinion from one chart analyst. And so again, this is not a technical analyst channel, so I don't get into the specifics. If you want to check that out, you can see what's on my screen. You can Google it. You can look it up. You can read through everything. I just want to share the opinions from various chart analysts. That's what I'm doing on the, on this channel here. Um, ever, you know, I don't really see a lot of people doing that. Actually, I, I just see I, I just see a lot of uh, chart analysts, which is perfectly fine because there's definitely an audience for that. But that's not what this channel is. Uh, Here's another uh, XRP analyst here. He's at Mr. Level Up. He goes by Awake on Twitter. Here's what he had to say um, about XRP. He, he tweeted this out. He writes, XRP only dominance history pattern 2017 versus 2019. So you can see 2017 on the left and 2019 on the right. And when he writes these, I, I follow him enough to know that when he's, he puts up comparative charts like this, it's an indication that perhaps what happened in 2017 will repeat in 2019. In this case, it would be uh, upward price action. So we, we shall see that. Obviously, at uh, you know, different price points. Uh, next here, this is a tweet from Magic Arcane. He says, double bottom, I am all in. So that's, that's one opinion. He, he thinks, uh, 
hey, hunky dory, two thumbs up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, party's started here. Um, so there's, there's another opinion. Let's get to the fourth opinion from a chart analyst now from the XRP community. And this one, look, I, I, I know that you guys aren't going to be th- necessarily thrilled to hear this, and not that I necessarily was either, but I'm just here to report on the opinions of the chart analysts out there. And I want to state again, and this comes from Magic with the XRP community, and he has a big following for a reason. He's got almost 30,000 followers now. And um, I just I want to be very clear. He is not a troll. He's, he's not saying this because he doesn't like XRP. He's cool with XRP. He likes it. He's just talking purely from a trading perspective. So um, just keep that in mind as I'm covering what I'm about to cover. So here's the tweet. Uh, this is just from 10 hours ago. Hodlers beware. XRP consistently showing overwhelming weakness. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig into this piece here because he actually did explain what he's talking about here. Um, XRP, along with the vast majority of crypto assets, looks immensely dangerous right now. I've published several analyses talking about this big blue uptrend channel that XRP was in. When XRP was approaching the bottom of it, I suspected that there was a decent chance for a significant rally if it held support. Unfortunately, price never held the bottom of the channel as support. Instead, we've seen a breakdown below the blue uptrend channel. And to make matters worse, price rallied back up to to it, uh, tested it, and rolled over to the downside. Not only was the channel defined as resistance, but so were the 50 and 200 week moving averages, which are in the same general area. This is extremely bearish, especially since price remains in a bear market downtrend, forming lower highs and lower lows. And here we go. Here's the part that you're going to want to hear even though you don't want to hear it and look i am mr xrp bull and um and, and so this is an xrp centric channel but we're just we're putting this out here he writes as of right now i'm fully expecting price to fall to the 15 cent level if that fails to hold that support i believe that there is a very real and dangerously high probability that xrp will fall to the three cent level three cents three cents so, again, take it for what it's worth. I'm not saying who was right and who was wrong. I'm sharing information with you. Um, I know many people think that is out of the realm of possibility, but the continuous weakness is saying otherwise. I love Ripple and XRP, but I'm an investor and an analyst first and foremost. I will not hold on to assets that are this vulnerable. And that's and that's where he and I differ, and I think this is perfectly fine. Uh, he, he's coming at it from a trader's perspective. For me, I, I don't want to be a trader. I don't want to learn how to do that. I don't care to learn how to do that. That's not what I do want to do with my life. It just isn't. And that's why I'm not going to learn how to read charts. I just don't care. I'm all about fundamentals and long-term investing for me in every aspect of my life, including crypto. And so that's the reason that I'm in an XRP, because I think it has long-term sustainability. Again, not financial advice. But uh, that's why, even if there's wild price action, even if this came to be, I'm not selling. Like, I, I purely am not. Like I said, even if, even if I were actually wrong about this whole crypto thing, I'll write it to zero because I don't care. Like, it, this is not my retirement plan, mind you. <clears throat> um, now, that's it. I don't think I'm wrong. I see real-world adoption. I know crypto assets are not going away. I could not be more confident of that. And so whatever short-term price action happens, which has nothing to do with the real utility of XRP, to me, it purely does not matter. I am here, period. In fact, so I've, I've often talked on this channel about how disciplined I am as it comes as it pertains to uh, uh, regularly buying XRP regardless of price action, whether it's up, whether it's down. I just buy my little bit of XRP on a regular basis. If XRP actually goes down to 50 per, 15%, I mentioned this the other day, and I haven't decided, but I might break my discipline and buy more. Like, I actually I actually might do that because I understand what an opportunity that would be because I just, I, I've never ruled out the possibility. I've, I've understood ever since I entered the world of crypto uh, just over two years ago that XRP could certainly go below the rate that the my, uh, my entry point uh, from where, where I initially bought in. And uh, to me, that's not, I've never thought that that would be an indicator because, again, I understand that XRP is tethered to price, the price action of Bitcoin. It's all tethered. It has nothing to do with long term viability, long term adoption of Ripple technology and XRP and all that good stuff. So to me, it doesn't matter. If I start to see that XRP is genuinely not being adopted or something bad happens there, that might change my mind. And I'd be honest with you if that happened. But I don't see that. And so I will happily do this while humans are in a frenzy and figuring all this stuff out, you know? I just I know that this is how humans behave when there's new technology and there's a flurry of activity around it as it pertains to investing and and the people at large just don't know where all this is going. 
But I've researched the fundamentals, and I believe that they're staying power for XRP. So for me, uh, if it goes down to 15 cents, I'm actually going to think about breaking my discipline. I don't know if I will, because it would kind of hurt me a little inside to be to the, like know that I stepped outside of like that discipline that I've maintained for so long. But I'm going to consider it anyway. And then anyway, so Magic continues, and he writes this. On the weekly RSI, we can see that the strength is flirting with the downside right now. Uh, one thing that is noteworthy here is that price has been severely overbought, but it has never been severely oversold. Now, that's fascinating because there's another chart analyst I highlighted just the other day. I believe it was Sir Gordon Gecko. He was talking about how XRP was oversold. So I have uh, conf conflicting opinions on that from two different XRP chart analysts. And he writes, uh, Considering the consistently overwhelming technical weakness, XRP may soon find itself in the severely oversold section of the weekly RSI, where it's actually good to be a buyer. Choose your moves wisely. The future we've all envisioned is not guaranteed. And so there, so there we go. And, but, you know, and again, for me, it's just, I'm, I'm going to be, I don't care what the price drops down to. I'm going to be here making XRP videos every day until I actually believe that this is no longer something that's going to be sustained. If that ever happens, if, I'll tell you what, if Moon Lambo checks out, maybe reevaluate your position. Because I am Mr. XRP Bull, and I believe that utility matters. I see real-world adoption, and until that stops, I'm going to be here. So, again, I'm not going to be one of those people to freak out over this this price action. And, you know, it's been like this for a freaking decade. This is no different today than it was years ago. I mean, the price levels are different than they were five years ago. They're a lot higher. But if you if you look back five years ago, I mean, look what was happening with XRP when it went from like three-tenths of a penny up to six cents, and then it crashed back down, and then people thought XRP was over. Uh, no. Like, that's, that's not what's happening here. And so make your own decisions. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold anything. And uh, just, I'm not offering that any sort of advice. I'm never going to, and I don't make price predictions. I just share what other people think on this stuff. So still, just think about it. Make, make your own decisions. Be informed. All right, uh, next here's a tweet from Josh Busico. I hope I'm saying that right. And he tagged me along with some other XRP community members and wrote this. I don't spend much time on research, but when I do, every single time I come back for a peek, it's extremely progressive news. Uh, thank you, XRP community, for your due diligence. And again, he tagged me along with digital asset investor Kevin Cage and a, and a couple others. And so I wanted to say thank you very much for tagging me, good sir. And I wanted to give you a shout out. Much appreciated. And I appreciate your support. You to All right, next here. Here's an article from you today. Bitcoin fear and greed index surges. Good signs crypto analyst claims. Uh, the in index of fear and greed hits the 23 mark. Uh, Bitcoin's price is performing uh, 0.618 to 0.65 Fibonacci level retrace. Those are good signs a crypto analyst believes. All right. Despite the bo Bitcoin price bottoming heavily over the past few days, many in the crypto community remain optimistic. Some are saying that big retracements are normal. Tur de Meester, I'm saying that right, uh, believes that the overall Bitcoin uptrend started in 2015 and is still intact. Uh, Peter Brandt, the legend of the trader's world, supports him by saying that all so-called bulls must be purged on Twitter so the market can have a proper buy signal and push the Bitcoin price towards $50,000. One of crypto analysts is pointing out the high figure of the fear and greed index, claiming that this could be a good sign for Bitcoin. Uh, the analyst at crypto MICHNL says that the fear and greed index has surged with fear, rising 23%. And here you have the uh, Fear and Greed Index from uh, the screen capture from today, about uh, seven hours ago today. Anyway, uh, the expert says the big growth of the index is good. This is because as fear grows, greed surges right after it. Uh, major investors tend to follow fear of the market majority and uh, start buying when fear rises and Bitcoin price drops, which I've mentioned in the past before. Um, besides, as the index value approaches either the highest point of greed or that of fear, uh, the index reverses, and that affects the Bitcoin price positively, too. And so there, there you go. That's another opinion there. Uh, let me share just a little bit more on this, this article here. So uh, this is titled, Bitcoin Bulls Must Be Fully Purged on Twitter to Let Bitcoin Price at $50,000, Peter Brandt. I know I just cited that, but uh, this is another article from uh, actually the same website, different writer here. All right, so... Um, one of the, these optimists, uh, Turdemeister, the founding partner at Admit Capital on Friday, uh, he tweeted to calm down the community, stating that the parabolic uptrend that Bitcoin started in 2015 remains. And there you can see it on the screen. 
Um, I wanted to get Peter. I think this one had. Yeah, there we go. This is what I want to see. So here's here's a Peter Brandt's actual tweet, which I kind of wanted to respond to. So and it was in response to Turd Meester's tweet here that's talking about uh, the uh, uptrend for Bitcoin that started in January 2015. And so Peter Brandt responded to that, and he's he's got over 300 thousand followers on Twitter, and he's uh, he's been trading for like several decades he has a best-selling book i think it's on amazon stuff like that so uh, people generally respect his opinions as it pertains to trading so peter brant wrote this tur i think a prolonged journey below the line might be needed to thoroughly prepare bitcoin for the move to fifty thousand dollars the bulls must be fully purged when no bulls can be found on twitter then we have a great buy signal so so there we go um that, that's all i want to share for this video so um Despite scary price action, I, I hope I, I hope this. Even though, because again, n no financial advice whatsoever for me ever. I'm never going to do that. But uh, I, I hope I hope that uh, your nerves can remain calm as this is all happening. Because I, I will tell you this for me, from an emotional perspective, I am absolutely bulletproof. I am impervious. This does not affect me. But that's because I properly positioned myself so that if things go south, when things go a little bit low, I'm not so heavily invested that it's going to emotionally affect me. And I also understand that. The, the emotional aspect of this, that's what everybody else is doing. And I, since I know that human animals, like that's how they behave, I'm just choosing to not participate. I'm not going to worry about that crap. And if I throw in more money, if, 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 okay, if Bitcoin goes down to 15, 15 cents, if it does, and if I choose to purchase more, and if as a result it goes down even lower than that and it never climbs higher, okay. I, I, I mean, and, and again, I don't think that's going to happen at all. I'm just saying I'm positioning myself as such that, I, I'm protected. I'm protecting myself. So if I'm wrong, I'm not going to invest so much that it's going to ruin my life. Do you, do you see what I'm saying there? That's that's all I'm saying. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing on that front. And so, and I don't even know if I'm going to do that if it goes. I'll tell you if I do. I'm still thinking about it. But I just really like this idea of, of like how how perfectly I've been disciplined. And I kind of don't want to give that up either. But um, but you can tell me what you think. So is, are any of these predictions right? Any of them? Do you, do you think? Where do you think things are going? Is is Bitcoin going down? Is Bitcoin going up? Is XRP going down? Is XRP going up? Is it going to be because of Bitcoin? Just tell me what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But that's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very 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 bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.